are learning about the bizarre behavior from a popular death metal guitarist just before his house went up in flames. Court documents show Pat O'Brien warned people about aliens and the rapture. News Channel 8's Victoria Price is joining us from our Tampa News Center with that story. And Keith, it does not stop there. When investigators sifted through the damage from that fire the next day, they found a huge stockpile of weapons. Oh, that's it was crazy. Pop, 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 pop. A neighbor describes the sound of exploding ammunition after Pat O'Brien's Northdale home went up in flames last week. It's crazy. It was crazy. And it, it was like a, the end of a firework display. O'Brien is the lead guitarist for Cannibal Corpse, a popular Tampa based death metal band. On December 10th, as fire crews fought the flames on Norwood Drive, investigators say O'Brien broke into a house down the street, refused to leave, and warned his neighbors the rapture is coming. Court documents show O'Brien also made strange phone calls to his parents earlier that day, telling them the aliens have landed. When deputies tried to arrest O'Brien, they say he lunged at them with a switchblade. An across the street neighbor who knows him said that he does have a flamethrower. A search warrant reveals investigators found flame throwing devices both inside and outside the home the night of the fire. The next day, they seized roughly 160 guns, gun parts, and boxes of ammo. The barrel of at least one confiscated shotgun had illegally been sawed off. O'Brien is charged with burglary of an occupied dwelling with assault and aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer as the fire investigation continues. Now, O'Brien is not the owner of that property, according to tax records, but appears to have been renting it. He is now out on bond. Live in the Tampa News Center, Victoria Price, News Channel 8.